Shalom, ladies and gentlemen. Today's always we'll be talking about our weekly Torah portion, Parshas Kitavo, when you will come to the land. And yes, it tells us we are coming towards the beginning of the new year. There is a huge segment in this Parsha that we cannot go around. Uh, it's the main part of this weekly Torah portion, probably one of the most important segments in the whole entire Torah. This is called uh, the Great uh, Curses. The Great cur Curses, why Great Curses? Because we read 98 sentences that Moshe Rabbeinu tells us that uh, it's not really curses, it's the precautions. If we will not follow the ways of Hashem, then this will happen to us. Why they are great or big or large? It's because before the holiday of Shavuot, we also read the list of those curses, but there were 49. Moshe Rabbeinu decided we have to go twice as much before Rosh Hashanah and put 98. But what actually puzzles me in those curses, it's the conclusion. The conclusion when all of the uh, if or when all these curses will come to, all these precautions will not work and all the curses will come through, and they did. The, this will happen because, and here he brings the total and says, because we didn't serve Hashem in joy and with good heart. Listen, I'm not, has not, I have nothing to do against. Uh, being joyful, being happy, enjoying, having fun, and everything in Torah and mitzvahs as well. But seriously, uh, the Torah mitzvahs the, with the joy, you know, I know it says that uh, uh, the, uh, the, there is no mitzvah per se, it's Rabbi Nachman, it's not Rabbi Nachman's expression, there is a great mitzvah to be joyful, but there is no such a mitzvah in the Torah. It says in Tehillim that you should serve your God in the joy, but again, it's not a mitzvah from the Torah to be joyful. And beside that, like take all those commandments, this you allow, this you not allow, this you go, this you don't go. You cannot do everything with joy. Just think only about uh, the cleaning for Passover uh, and the destruction, destroying of all the chametz. Seriously, how many people do you know that are washing their dishes and cleaning their apartment or their houses when, and they have a huge smile on their face? No, we do it because we must do it. We are obligated to do, to do that. So why it has to be with the joy? Not only with the joy, but it says if we will not do it joyfully, then we will be we receive all those, you know, all those curses. But besides that, you know, I'm sure some of you who are listening this, uh, to, to, watching this video, including myself, didn't do the breeze, for example, the circumcision on the eighth day. And I did it when you, I felt it very, very well, what, what was going on. And I tried to smile, but it was very, very difficult. But there is another problem with joy, or actually uh, the reason why we should be joyful. Sometimes I really encounter this problem that people are very serious about their religion. I even have a complaint as a rabbi. Rabbi, you always tell jokes and you're not serious. You're talking about important things. But instead of being a serious and representing man of the true religion, you are like always trying to make fun. So first of all, there are plenty of serious rabbis. I am trying to be not serious. And more than that, why you have to be serious all the time. Or as the Saint Exupery said, that the most difficult, the most terrible things in history were done with a serious face. So there, it's not Judaism to be very serious, first of all, about yourself. You shouldn't be serious about yourself. You should be joyful. This is the way of Judaism. If we not, then we receive all those curses. But let's go back to understand where we should and how can we be joyful in the fulfilling of all the mitzvahs. It's actually not the joy that we have fun to do the mitzvah. It should be as well, but not always. But the highest level of joy, it's when you recognize that you're actually doing the right thing. In doing the right thing, this is where the joy is. Uh, I, I'm sure some of you, when you, you know, resolve the problem in mathematics or in physics, and you maybe make mistake and it's not working out, and then you find this mistake and you start to do it right, that brings you joy. You, you, you still didn't receive the result. You still didn't receive the prize or the, or the grade, but the fact that you're doing it right, it's already bringing the joy. The, joy. the same thing with the mitzvahs, the idea of mitzvahs, it's to enjoy just the fact that you're doing the right, uh, the right thing. And God willing, next week we will say the uh, prayers of forgiveness, the slichot, 
the Ashkenazic Jews, unlike our brothers Sephardim, who did doing it already almost a month, we doing it just a week before Rosh Hashanah. But the question, why we doing it immediately after Shabbat? So our sages teaches us that even the slichot, the prayers for forgiveness, should be in joy and happiness. And maybe it's very difficult to ask for forgiveness and be joyful. So we're doing it right after Shabbat in order that the joy of most joyous day in the week will slide into slichot as well. This is the way to serve Hashem. And uh, Reb Chaim Vital, the greatest student of Arizal Kadosh, who achieved the greatness in spiritual level of Torah understanding and Kabbalah, when he asked his student, Chaim Vital asked him, how did you do that? He said, I didn't do it with the suffering, with the fasting or the non-stop prayer. I did it because I was joyful in fulfilling of every mitzvah, joyful in doing the right thing. One of the greatest scholars of the previous generations, one of the greatest Jewish leaders, the Tzanzarov, who, whose family perished in the Holocaust, who whole Hasidus almost perished in the Holocaust. He himself uh, was in Auschwitz, but rebuilt the Hasidut, rebuilt the family, rebuilt the Kriyat Sans, the huge area in the Natania in Israel, rebuilt, rebuilt the huge hospital, the Lignado Hospital. So there is a movie about him, documentary about him uh, that you can see in Yad Vashem in, uh, in Jerusalem when one of his Hasidim who was together with the Rebbe in the March of Death in Auschwitz, he saw that the Rebbe was running through those lines and I don't, cannot even imagine how you survive that but he was constantly saying something. And the Hasid, he get closer to the Rebbe and he heard that the Rebbe was saying, because we didn't serve God in joy. This is the key to everything, to serve and to be joyful because we're doing the right thing. And then a new year will come and then we will seal the book of life and joy and happiness. Good luck. I see you next week.